you don't get a TV. We in the building. We in the game, Chief. Pontiac in the building. We gonna get it rolling, man. Get it live. Get it lit. Never, never have it been made. Never been made. So so And the ancestors are looking out for us. Todd Hayes is exposing them, man. It's, it's, you see that chair right there? See how big it is? Yeah. Now look at the Pope chair under. Scroll down, look at the Pope chair under. Never yeah. have it been made yeah. so clear. Young TV. Young We running the game right TV. now. to take over. Yo. We the hottest in the game. Hit that like. Hit that subscribe button. If you're just Yo. not too late. Share like on your Instagram, Facebook. Yo. If you're too late. We broadcasting Yo. live from 2030, TV. baby. Peace, family. We in the building with Chief Pontiac. Skype ape at the North Gate. When we knock, you better bomb straight. Now, <laughs> hey, it really is really a QA. You know, we just like to have like some nice names. It's really a QA. Now I got a couple questions for the raw for the raw, and then we'll bring y'all on to ask uh questions uh about the updates. If you got some updated questions about what's going on on the land. We got the uh, one of the high power alchemists here. They can un unmask the illusion. So if you got any questions, get ready for those questions. We'll be taking them in a minute. Now the first question, because we're gonna get right, we're gonna bite right down into it. We're gonna bite right down into it. Now the first question we got for your brother Rod is uh, you said something about we was talking earlier. And you said that Bruce Lee got took out for a certain reason and that he knew certain secrets about the Shalom uh, monks or masters or whatever that he came to America and he wasn't supposed to reveal or something like that and you said that they got him he he broke the oath what what was you uh could you go in a little bit on that in the Shaolin martial arts if you're from the east you're not supposed to divulge um temple secrets to something known as the guy G right okay. Uh -huh. When Bruce Lee came, he revealed the secrets openly to the guy G. Okay. We we think guy G just translates foreigner. Okay. But uh it's really they don't want y'all the ones that's trying to <clears throat> work their way where they have ascension rights. Okay. They've been suppressed for so long, they have to develop certain of their own skill sets. That's okay. why we, the same reason he wasn't supposed to teach them martial arts, the same reason the Grammys ain't got nothing to do with us. Okay. Okay. It's the same reason because they have to figure out a form of self defense. They have to figure out. How do you use the throat chakra, the heart chakra, and the crown chakra? Okay. Before, okay. if they tried to do anything that required the upper four chakras, they would short circuit. 
Damn, go ahead. So when they short circuit, they end up either being like Stephen Hawkins. That means that their mental capacity has exceeded the ability to balance out with their creative potential. Okay. All right. So you got two sides of the brain. They we operating in a world where only the left brain is cultivated and the right brain is suppressed. But you got some people whose right brain you can't suppress. So this is why it seemed like only certain people gets into the music, arts, and entertainment. Mm -hmm. Because when you can't suppress it, they already know who they is, the salt of the earth. Mm -hmm. Old Mississippians. Mm -hmm. Right? Your Kukula Kines and your Quetzalcoatls and your Chief Zolo. Mm -hmm. Right? So because of that, when he started openly teaching, he thought because he married Guy G and he got a right to teach his children that he can transfer the right to her side of the family. Mm -hmm. But Bruce Lee wasn't dead. He was what you he was extracted and resigned to the temples in the mountains of China. But we think he did. <clears throat> Yeah, because they did a whole bunch of uh, Chinese movies did come out after supposedly he uh, like a lot of movies that he did that was in China that was recorded that came out. After. Yeah, they told us and um, it was a guy named they call him Bruce Lai. He used to make movies like he was Bruce Lee. Uh -huh. Remember him? Yeah, Bruce. Lai. Some of his movies is telling you bits and pieces of the secret. What? They telling it to you in theatrical performance. You got to always remember when you watch Bruce Lai, he's imitating Bruce Lee as if Bruce Lee was present. Right? And then, then um, the old um, Shaolin masters, this shit that they think of, this is martial arts now, that's not martial arts. That's ballet. Go ahead. Even, even MMA is not martial arts that's right but mma was the guy g's development of a fighting technique thanks to the gracies yeah. right yeah. out of brazil and the capoeira out of brazil being the two leading forms of martial arts that drew him into what's now known as uh ufc or mma mixed martial arts okay right and that go back if you go watch uh um John Claude Van Damme okay. first movie, First Blood. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's what the movie is about. Developing skills. If you look at where they bring in all of the people from, wasn't supposed to be nobody look like us there. Go ahead. And all of the highest ranking triads and uh it's another group over there too um yakuza mm -hmm. all of those were the elders from those are the real f you up martial artists mm -hmm. but all that stuff came from us that's called temple defense science like montu what they call it, angel kimmy right the montu art form yeah where you see it's all uh, martial arts is, is painted all through the hieroglyphs right Right, because we needed to know that we invented that shit when we go into a Kali Yuga and come out, we won't know that. Go ahead. Unless we let, left it etched in stone. Man, this is what I was trying to figure out today too, Rod. And I'm going to ask you another question after this, but uh, so do the, the, like the black belt, all the different color belts, do they have something to do with like the chakras? The chakras? Since it's connected no. to like the... Okay, all right, all right. No, the rank is just the ranking system. Those colors was instituted by the elders. They all have, um, like you can get a brown belt that a yeah. that a break off a, a black belt. Okay, yeah. Um, the one of the highest ranking martial artists in the world. I don't know if you remember this is uh, Wesley Snipes. Yeah, Wesley Snipes. Hold on, Wesley yeah. Snipes. Look, Wesley had a ceremony on public TV. Go ahead. And masters you seen on there that was in the audience, they don't do demonstrations. 
they will F you up. They don't go do demonstrations. The ones doing demonstrations, that's the highest level of the ballet, but it can easily at that point be converted into combat. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But they gave him those sashes. Mm -hmm. You don't get them until you get to a certain level. And the masters that came out for the support of Wesley Snipes, they don't come out. Wow. At all. What kind of guys this is making these people come out? Yeah, the blame when they be talking, when you hear him talking about all of these dudes as fake martial artists, you'd never hear him call Wesley a fake martial artist. Yeah. yeah. That's because he the real deal. Michael J. White, the real deal. Oh, yeah. I know about him for sure. He but he ain't Wesley Snipes. He talk about he can whoop Bruce Lee, but I ain't heard him say he can whoop Wesley. No. Wesley getting up in age now, but that don't mean nothing if he's still doing his uh his katas and he's keeping his joints moving. Mm -hmm. it, it won't matter. It won't matter. He ended so fast, the average fighter won't know what happened. It's just the way it is. Jim Kelly was just a sh uh uh a show martial artist. He wasn't the real deal. Okay. He was a theatrical performer pretending to be a martial artist. Okay. Most of the people that's, that you see practicing martial arts in the dojos, they only learn in ballet. They're not learning the actual art. Yeah, to really hurt, like really put you down. Right. Cause, you know, like we know Tai Chi, but we don't know that Tai Chi Swan is them mock when it's used in this um in this war warrior capable um method okay but you have to you have to go through a different set of training to go from kinetic meditation to actual combat with it but if you know the combat part of tai chi you the master of the death touch you can break them off with one, one touch it don't even have to be a punch Contrary to popular opinion, like the Kill Bill, uh, where they showed, or the, they showed, like she went to the Shaolin monk, and she taught her how to do like a, uh, like what kind of like some kind of punch that you could kill somebody with five punches, or what is it, the five finger death punch or something? Yeah. So that's something like what they couldn't really be real unless you go through those schools. You couldn't learn how to do that five finger death punch and all that type of stuff. The real five finger death punch uh -huh. is it'll paralyze you. Yeah. And if you use it right, it'll cause swelling in the brain. Mm. That'll cause a stroke. Well, if the master that um, administer it, he hits you with certain key um, meridians and it'll just paralyze you and you have every appearance of death. But you'll still be alive. Mm -hmm. Serpent in the rainbow, same shit, different technique. Mm -hmm. The eyeball yeah. snatching out shit. Remember in uh, Serpent in the Rainbow, they was making zombies in Haiti and they blew this dust on them made out of pufferfish puffer fish venom. Mm -hmm. Then they die, on the, appear to be dead. They have no vital signs, but they're not dead. Mm -hmm. As soon as the um, poison run its course, the body resumes its normal function, and most people wake up in the grave. And this is where you get your zombie fairy tale from. Yeah, from that ain't no alive. dead zombie. Look, ain't no dead zombie with no decaying muscles and jaw falling off, finna do nothing to you. Yeah, go ahead. You hit him with spit on him, and he'll fall in the crumble. Uh huh. Right, so that's that's the zombie come from in Badoon is called the Zumbe. Uh -huh. Right, but that's another topic that's getting us off topic. But the same method they use in the movie is they use the chemical in the movie, but they will they know how to use meridians in the arts, mm -hmm. in the martial arts, the real stuff, not the ballet. Mm -hmm. 
Then you got your, you always got your artistic form and your combat form. That's why they call it the art of war. Because the ballet in the art of war is the perception of how to read the battlefield and just positioning key players in key positions until you have the war won without even fighting. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's it. We're going to get into that. Mm -hmm. the war and all that. And all, all, all. all right, so we're talking about mental warfare. We're going to get to the questions from the uh, audience. We're talking about mental warfare here. And, you know, we just tying it in with physical, you know, just the mind to art form. Now, what is this, the the spiritual side or the side that made Bruce Lee so electrifying and made him so it wasn't just that what he did, like the moves that he did. He had some mentally because if you listen to him talk, he almost sound like a prophet. You know what I'm saying? Bruce Lee. The, some of the things that he was saying, like you could tell the Shaolin from the Shaolin teachings. That he the learned. level of martial arts when he developed his own style called Jeet Kune Do, the way of the intercepted fist, right? It's a defensive martial arts. Mm -hmm. Only people doing defense is us. Go ahead. He won us. He just lighter skinned than us. Mm -hmm. Yellow man, like Elijah said. Right. If you go to uh, Google, Type in General L.I. He's a general like us, dark like us, nappy hair like us. Mm -hmm. And most of those that's heavy in the martial arts like that is his descendants. Mm. Right. The pronunciation of the word Lee can be spelled several different ways in the transliteration from um, Chinese or Mandarin right. into English. Right. L.I. L.E. E. Yep. L E E L Y E. Yeah. Right. So uh, we use the name Lee because we got an ancient blood contract with them, a blood right, earth right contract with the people of Asia. We got a different type of contract with the people of Australia, New Zealand, and the Tongan Islands, South Pacific. Mm -hmm. But every one of the contracts has surfaced mm -hmm. to be. To call forth, because we all ain't no. When you see Tahuti, there is no one nation that can call him. It has to be a concerted effort. Mm -hmm. Everybody had to call at the same time for the for the same purpose. They can't solve the problem. Mm -hmm. That's why it takes so long for age to close. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right, we've been closing the age since. The dark ages of Europe. That's right. But everybody was fighting each other. So they could never come to a general consensus to call for, for somebody to find out what the problem is. Because this white supremacy shit kicking the ass. Mm -hmm. They don't even know it's a war strategy. Everybody think it's about skin color. It got nothing to do with skin color. That's the uh, uh, sleight of hand being used to deceive you. Mm-hmm. So back to the part where, uh, where how Bruce Lee, what did he, they took the, all them quotes and all those shit, like he said, be water, my friend, and all these different things that he used to quote. To me, like I said, when I listened to him, he sounded like a prophet. So well, you got to remember, he was a, uh, he stayed, all of the martial to Shaolin monks study Buddha and Confucius. Yeah. Okay. So if you being saturated with wisdom teachings, mm -hmm. you're going to speak wise. Uh -huh. That's why they gave us school so we won't teach wisdom teachings, we'll teach ignorance teachings. Go ahead. Bill right? Ahead. They systematically arrest our development at six years old, so we think we grown, but we running around a six-year-old mentally in an adult body. Mm-hmm. 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 So many problems come 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 from that. So many problems come from that. Mm-hmm. When you, anytime you mentally arrested um, mental development of a people mm -hmm. and make them act like children, mm -hmm. they're going to be easy for the adults to control, but hard as hell for the other kids to keep them in line. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hey, somebody got a question for you, Raw. It says, uh, 
I guess this might be off topic. His question for Raw: Who are the Canaanites and their God Yahweh? <laughs> Go ahead. Go look up. Look up the name Canaanite. We already know Yahweh is in Leo. Go ahead. Right. Yeah. Yahweh is the guy that he ain't the God of the Mobites. They guy name was Kemosh. Right. And some of the other tribes didn't accept him. So you have the ones who was loyal to Al Shaddai. Right. Which is one of Enki's sons. Then you got the ones that was faithful to the one that they translate as Lord, Baal Haddai. One of Enlil's sons. So you got more than one God all scattered all through the Bible. But then you got the referee saying, if I'm a referee these games, I'm not going to be seen in public. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to teach them to arrest the inner God by using my name, Amen, at the end of their prayers. Mm -hmm. Right? Because that's establishing the loyalty to Amen the unknown God, and it's also telling your inner God to remain unknown. It's a dual conjure. Mm -hmm. Remember the Scottish right 32 degree double head vulture. Mm -hmm. You see both ways. Mm -hmm. it's, a, it's, it's a two sided conjure. Your a head. double head beast. A two headed dragon. Able to hit you high and hit you low at the same time. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? The fire dragon and the ice dragon. One frees you and the other would melt you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Can you talk about Anunnaki and music concert like back in the day as a early to today performance from the 70s era? Can you talk look, about okay, go look, ahead, go ahead. look, look, when you if you're not listening to Okay, let me put it like this. The earth, the earth style of music is the only music of its kind in the known universe. Mm -hmm. There might be something similar in the unknown universe. But the type of music that we create on the earth mm -hmm. comes from right brain mitochondrial resonance, feminine arcing from the man to the woman. Either one can become what they call a, a, a muse, which is the root word to music, to inspire songs from the heart. Mm -hmm. Right. When we need these people to be able to sing from the from the diaphragm with an active heart and throat chakra. Mm -hmm. This is the Grammys. Mm -hmm. Right. We need them to be able to be theatrically inclined so that they can create characters like kids on the playground. Right. Playing cops and robbers. Mm -hmm. We call them. Um, those are the Oscars that had nothing to do with us. That's why they didn't want us in it. Mm -hmm. We thought they were discriminating against us. Mm -hmm. But while we was fighting the conjure war, they was allowed to have whatever kind of government they wanted to have and to celebrate their own self and their own um, beauty standards. Mm -hmm. And we thought that that was excluding us when there is no comparison in us and anybody else in the own universe. That's right. That's right. So why in the hell would we give a damn? If John Wayne won a motherfucking Oscar, I don't care. Go ahead. <laughs> Go ahead. Right? Go but, ahead. you know, some people felt like, oh, it's racist that John Wayne can get a Grammy, but Sammy Davis can't, because Sammy Davis got the salt of the earth skill set. He's going to get it all of the Grammys. It's not going to be fair. Yeah, that's right. He's going to get all of the awards, and then John Wayne in similarly situated characters are going to be without any awards because they trying to develop what Sammy Davis already was born with. Yeah. So they trying to activate the one drop of blood that they got on the plantation. 
Now yeah. all these motherfuckers passing and y'all still think that this white people. Go ahead. Them niggas is passing. Everywhere you see them big old booty white girl, them niggas is passing. Imitation of life. They passing. If you don't know what the genetic fuck up was, then you don't know what the cleanup looked like. Now, I'm just looking at it because hindsight is 2020. It's easier to see what was being done than what is being done in the current. Yeah, yeah. Right. So they done certain stuff. And then we wondering why we was excluded from everything. We well, we, we got a double benefit. Uh -huh. we, we, we was allowed to allow them to ascend, have ascension rights and pre-karma allowed us to be all rich in my father's house are many mansions okay see lo long as you don't let them trick you with this snyder snyder act shit it's an act it just tell you right in it it's an act go ahead go look the word act up <clears throat> and then you understand what i'm talking about that's right Rod. it's an act it's a it's a ploy. Mm -hmm. Fuck that. I'm more interested in this motherfucking ADL lawsuit fair kind file for four and a half billion dollars. That's talk more important it. to us than the Snyder Act. Let's talk about it, right? Go ahead. The Snyder Act is just to make sure that you can float their country, their government for another 30 days, 90 days, or however many days they can get y'all to sign on for that bullshit. How what how is it gonna even matter when they fiat is about to be gone? What they gonna pay you in? Toilet paper? You know what I'm saying? They know they don't got no money. The, all of that is deception. Mm -hmm. If you don't they, see the deception, you bound to get trapped in it. And they also say they they when they when they sign this uh Snyder's Act, you they these natives become citizens still under America. I say, oh yeah, it's a that's citizen gay. is a a citizen is a straw man. Yeah, that's game. A citizen is a straw man. They made sure that with the 14th Amendment. And as long as you're trying to be a citizen, you're trying to prove to them you're a Dred Scott three fifth compromise slave. You deserve servitude because you're not competent to handle your own affairs. Mm -hmm. As long as you're not competent to handle your own affairs, then they got the right because they already contracted to to take care of the imbeciles in law. That's right. The remedy for the imbecile that don't understand law is to find his kindred, his kinsman, his relative, his family member mm -hmm. that know what the fuck going on and say, I'm riding with my cuz right here. That's I'm right. riding with my uncle. That's right. My granddaddy knew what was up. That's right. Right. And so we can we can't keep these people in power much longer right. because the AI system is telling us that they are running out of the means to artificially float the government. Right. They've been shedding pieces and bits down across the across the land, but we ain't paying it no attention. Right. Right. You got. Half of corporate America is off work for one reason or another, whether it's a strike, whether it's a supplier bankruptcy issue, Walmart, whether it's um, GMO um, removal from the system, burning down um, those chicken farms and beef farms and shutting down the food industry. Next is the, the textiles is being shut down because they seizing ships that was trafficking in children under the pretense of trafficking textiles. All that stuff is falling apart. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And Farrakhan just shot the fucking warlord in the head with that filing that lawsuit. Yeah, That's yeah. an open declaration by the organic people of the land of we ready to face you bitches now. Yeah, this shit that. about to go the yeah. fuck down, but y'all still want to be entertained that's right everybody want to be entertained don't nobody want to be free entertain me when i'm free i don't want no entertainment right now 
Hey, hey, also not to mention uh, not to mention that that the person that passed the hip passed that act name was Homer Schneider, who is Ash Star Command. So you put it together. I Man, it seems like everywhere I look, when we getting the getting fangy from the back, it's, it's Ash Star Command is standing behind. Even the Wal- Walter Plecker, he Ash Star Command. So it seems like Ash Star Command is always around some kind of way in the back for Nandolin. With the black uh rocking with the black hand, man, to me. That's what I think. No, the, the, they don't work with them. They don't even get along. You they don't even you can't put two of their you can't put one of them in the room with the people that sent the dirty hand. So, oh, so it's, not, it's it. not gonna go well. We got two different fractions working against us then. Ash saw command on no, one hand. It, it's look. Ashtar Command is, is not even participating. They just watching. They what just watching. The ones from Prokeonis, they, they just watching. Because if we get free, they get free. They send ships. A lot of these, like a lot of the Pleiadian um, s- systems was under Enlil's rule. Off his mama land. So now, um, all of these, all of those places that was once matriarchal, that was turned patriarchal and put in slavery are going to be free when Earth break free. And the last battleground is called the United States of America. When you say, um, I say Ashtar Command, are you talking about the Platians or are you talking about all the, all the Nordics? I'm talking about the Nordics, the ones that influence. They Hitler. not. They they just watching. I know exactly who you talking about. Yeah. Most of those on the Federation are just watching. Really, what it is is it's the Earthborn straight up head to head versus Anunnaki, and everybody else is just standing around in the motherfucking stands like niggas do with their cameras while the, while the police beating us to death. That's all they doing. That's why they keep using the term watchers. Yeah, go ahead. They not participating. This is a this is the final this is the final showdown between Tahuti and Enlil, and Enlil already lost. He been checkmated. Yeah, Everybody yeah. else is on the sidelines doing this. Yeah. Cause they didn't think nobody can beat this pussy ass. I told him not to come down here fucking with the earthborn. Cause if mama say knock you out, I'm gonna knock you the fuck out. Ain't nothing to talk about. Mama said knock you out. What we supposed to do, L? Hey, knock you out. <laughs> like That's it. You gotta go. Mom says you gotta go. You gotta go. Uh, 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 tell you. Mama said, knock you out. Nigga, I'm going to knock you out. You know what I'm saying? Hey, hey. Now, look. Huh. It's cycles within cycles. Yeah. That's been the same repeat pattern for 6,000 yeah. years. Ever since Enlil brought his mirror verse inverted genitalia ass wife over here. Yeah. And called her the queen of earth. Yeah. No, she the bitch can't call herself that, but you can call her the queen of the underworld and she have to live under the Vatican. Bitch can't sit in Big Mama's seat. Go ahead. The rules of the game, the rules of the game. Yeah. When you see how the game being played, then the rules will tell you what they are because all you got to do, the ones that's cheating, if you pay attention to the rules they don't break, now you know what you rules to use to your advantage. Yeah. Because yeah. they break some of the rules because they think they can get away with it on the turnabout being fair play. And because we being righteous, they don't think we'll turn that shit back around and use it on them. Uh-huh. But uh-huh. Big Mama say, Mama said, well, turnabout fair play. You can defend yourself if they attack you. Right? Mm-hmm. But if they don't attack you, then you can't attack them. Right? So, well, so back to the extension. How did the devil get an extension? We wouldn't stop whooping that ass. Mm-hmm. 
We wouldn't stop whooping that ass. I don't care which one of the cyclic parts of the story you break down. They was getting bopped upside the head every time. That's right. So they didn't think we hard headed by nature. The ones mm -hmm. us over here that they call American um, um, country bumpkin Negroes, mm -hmm. we hard headed. Yeah. They think that we ain't going to be ever be able to outlearn and outstudy them. But they yeah. got one problem that we don't. They get stuck in dogma. That's right. Go ahead, Rod. Right. We look over the dogma because it's not tied to a moral compass. Yeah. So as long as it's not tied to the compass, it's not even worth the navigation. Mm-hmm. 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 Hey, so I heard you, I heard you say, talk about uh, Angela lost so, uh, the war in Israel, man. Because uh, people was asking me, man, make sure you ask Raw about the war. Uh, what he got? What his perspective? And keep in mind, young people say Young L is doing this to that, but me, keep in mind, I take in perspectives because because people can say something to start three, and I'm looking at it as two on my side. Then if I walk on his side, it's really three. So eyes are our perspective. So just keep that in mind about the young elder. I'm a seven twenty. Uh, Look yeah, 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 Rod. I I gotta ask you this question, they, Rod, about the Israel. Why Israel, yep. man? I'm about to get into it. Hey, so they blow like I know it's like that. They don't like it's got to be some connection with us because they paying them. The United States paying them out. I'm off of our backs. For what happened to them, and they don't got nothing to do with us. So, what like the man of war in Israel is something them all this money, and we still ain't got paid yet. We still broke. What's listen, what's Israel is the 52nd state, go ahead, right? Yeah, and it's not an official state, like Hawaii is not an official state, nor is Alaska, it's a 49 continental states, nor is Texas. Texas is what they call the Lone Star State because Texas have the in, in the right to divide up into as many as five nations by separating from the congressional government on the land. Mm -hmm. That shit been already overthrown. So right, that's right. But the uh, Israel was created by Britain, France, and uh, the United States. Mm -hmm. To honor the Balfour Declaration of World War One, this all laid out by Albert Pike and Morals and Dogma on how we going to know when when is it coming to an end. I told you. Yeah. You told me to get yeah. this book. Yeah. yeah. That's that's the whole layout think this of what we seeing now. Those when he said that. Uh, the final showdown would be between Islam and Judaism. They mm -hmm. they created both of them. That's right. Listen, Christianity was the first religion in the history of the world. Go back. Go back. Go ahead. Uh, they needed a backstory, so they created Judaism. Go ahead. Those people didn't have a Torah because the Torah was written after the New Testament. Go ahead. But they, what they had was called the Mishnah and the Talmud. Go ahead. And they, that came with them from the exile in Babylon. Everybody know about the Jewish exile and, and I mean, the Jewish captivity in Babylon. That's right. That's right. Why in the fuck would they want to go back over there? Go ahead. Go but ahead. knowing that the Jewish captivity of Babylon but in Babylon is at the base of a mountain called the Sinai. Mm -hmm. Mount Sinai is often translated as Mount Sion or Mount Zion. Go in. Right. And it was here that Ninersin brought Babylonian blood magic, sex magic, and money magic and taught it to the ones in captivity. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This was part of a breeding program and a training of those that they bred. Mm -hmm. So when they released them on the world, 
they not what we thought they were. Mm -hmm. They something else now. They worked on created a whole new being in the laboratory, aka Yakub's grafted double. Right. Now they cut them loose on the world to go find a suitable place to inhabit that you can call your home, aka we will call that land Israel. Mm -hmm. Right? Israel mm -hmm. don't even mean what they tell you it mean. Mm -hmm. Israel is a Masonic coded acronym for ISIS Ryan L. That's right. That's right. It's yeah. like Abraham is talking about ISIS. ISIS mm -hmm. is Abraham. Right. What the fuck is you talking about? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> it's a three part comedic word. Mm -hmm. Add me heart. Mm -hmm. Ra is the inner light or the soul or the sun within. Mm hmm. L is the uh, mastery of being able to balance the inner light and the heart. Mm -hmm. Once you can do that, you become L or an elder. Young elder. Hey, you dropping it. Go ahead. You dropping it. You dropping in it. some of our cultures, you have to be 40 years old to become an elder. In mm -hmm. other cultures, you got to be 50. That's right. Right? So you can't even take the test if you don't come from a culture that will allow you to move into the position of elder. You can't take the test unless you're within three years of your elder status because it's going to take about five years for you to go through your... um trials and tribulations they call it your seven year tribulation that's everybody right. not gonna go through seven years of tribulation that's what people don't understand but all of the chiefs is gonna be going through it working the problem out like a whole bunch of math geniuses in the classroom working on the chalkboard trying to solve a problem that can save all of humanity that's what we doing mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right, but we all got a different part of the problem based on our skill set. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. And being part Anasazi, meaning the one who tie all of the families together, I can read all their language. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. On the Wind Talker channel, when I know who's talking to who and what they saying. Mm -hmm. So once I know that, I could sit back and if I watch long enough, I can solve the problem without ever having to be actually smart enough to solve the problem. Because mm -hmm. my elders is going to tell me. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to go look it up so I can give the people that I'm telling what my elders told me a reference because they're not going to believe it coming from me because I got to hit him with so many facts that they say he can't be lying. That's new waffle right there. Hey, I got hey right. I got another question for you, Rod. They say <laughs> uh that Rod Hayes don't have paperwork with the uh the chief. We already talked about this in the uh, made clear tape, but they say that Rod Hayes don't have his own clan and he's not uh, <laughs> classified on records. With the, the the black hand or uh, the United States Corporation as being why would I register with my enemy and why would these outlaw clans agree to register with the enemy and give them proper proper pro, proper persona jurisdiction over us? We don't want them motherfuckers here in the first place. They, they, that's not the end of the question because they because we are you I know you already broke that part down about why you ain't like what they talking about right. Right, but I don't look. I got the blood in the right. I don't need no paper. Right, right. So, I don't got to be on nobody' roll. I bet the government gonna know who I am. That's that's right. Now the the last part of that question, going along with what you just said, uh, is okay. We understand that this is not a physical war really anymore. Like um, for us, it's, it's a conjure war. It's not actually fighting with guns and battle. That people think we're supposed to get a guns and battle. That what the Black Panthers thought, and we're gonna ask a question about that too. But because we're talking about mental warfare here, mental, uh, mental martial arts, 
right? So the battle as far as the system, the money system, the Federal Reserve, it's, 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 the system is only being held up by the minds of the people that's agreeing to the system. The illusion. Yeah, yeah they so participating in the illusion that's keeping the artificial system in place until they st enough of us wake up where it can reach critical mass and call a spontaneous collapse of the entire system. Yeah, how? That, that, that's, that's, that's the question. How do we get the people to... How can because they say, man, we still got to pay bills. I still got to go to work and make money. But you're saying the system is over. I got to go make money to get a hamburger to get me some pampers. And you know what I'm saying? I got to go make some money and I still got to pay bill. But so how do how how do we transition? Because we got to make the transition. We got to wing ourselves off of this system because. I see that if the system just gets snatched off of us because we've been sucking on it like a, your mama's titty, big mama's titty. I see if the system gets snatched from certain people, but they wouldn't know how to handle it. I, I know how to handle it because I, I, you know, that's just who we are. I think we would make it. But they saying, how do we wing ourselves to begin to transition off of this fe this <laughs> Will Holton thing in America, nineteen thirteen Federal Reserve mental money type agreement? that's going down pretty much you know, I know for the people that look, for those people that's that's they frame a reference and they frame a thought mm -hmm. they supposed to keep doing what they doing because they supposed to be holding the system up longer mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and none of this haphazard i didn't already slayed the dragon mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right, really? I didn't already told our people the big lie they was keeping from us. Yeah. The little white lie turned into a whale of a lie, Moby Dick. Yeah, right. So Ahab came, the tenth king of Israel, and slayed that motherfucker mm -hmm. by mm -hmm. telling the people the truth. Mm -hmm. So it's real simple. Stay with the with the bill paying. As long as you want to. Mm -hmm. If you don't have enough uh, intellectual capacity to shift out of the system, stay in it till it fall. I'm not participating. Mm -hmm. But if you know what to do, you obligated to do it. Because if you don't, nature takes its course and forces you to the hard way. That's right, man. That's what I just said. Pull you can't out. freeze under pressure and then don't expect the consequence. But this is this this is a wrap. I think we like we down the weeks now. So you, 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 I, I think so. Do you think this that we need to be stacking up supplies for them to for the give a time for the little shift or the lights out or whatever's gonna happen? Do we need to I will, the most you need is probably about 30 days supply because the, when they shut everything down, it could be anywhere from 30 minutes to like 90 days, I think. But the standard is 30. Mm -hmm. And I doubt if it even be down for a whole day because we've had so long to put the new infrastructure in place. The, the big part is about it is everybody going to have to freeze long enough to catch their breath when they realize the amount of shit that took place and in their face behind their back. Don't panic. Main thing is don't panic. Mm -hmm. The less negatively charged emotional energy you feed the system, it starves because it's mm -hmm. feeding off your fear, the fear mongering. Oh, we finna have Armageddon. Armageddon was fought 2,000 years ago. Uh, yeah. Minho Tep the third. Why yeah. in the fuck would we repeat that shit? That's the yeah. dumbest yeah. shit in the world. Yeah. Yeah. That was the battle in the Valley of Megiddo. Look it up. It's no secret. So, uh, all of these historical events is falling um, in cyclic fashion, but they happening on a different scale of magnitude. So a lot of the stuff they told us was going to be horrible is just a newspaper press release. Mm -hmm. And a lot of the shit they told us was going to go smooth has yeah. been catastrophic. Yeah, that's right. 
because they didn't get the response that they needed when the newspaper report came out and they started getting hungry for some sensational gossip. So stir the people up, make them start talking. <clears throat> so they still running game uh, on us in the background through the media and the, uh, the news outlets to try to keep store up, store us up and keep us, you know, but we ain't, we ain't responding like they want us to respond. And, and could that be a part of just their time? It's just, it's just a wrap for them and it just ain't going to work. You know? they should just ain't, Look, they they being arti- Look, the system is being artificially floated by AI spreading the money using the law of efficiency. Okay, go ahead. The most important stuff in finance, the stuff it can't finance no more ain't functioning. Yeah. Now, the cover story as to why it ain't functioning can be anything. We don't mm-hmm. strike. Mm-hmm. They had a supplier uh, collapse or whatever. Mm-hmm. But the problem, the thing is, ain't shit moving like it was nah. two months ago. Oh, yeah, bro. This okay. is slowly, slowly coming to a halt. It's almost to the, to the it's, it's stopping. Yeah, they running out of they, this running out of the the capability to artificially sustain the system. The system is dead. You know when you kill a fish, sometimes the nerves be alive and it flop a little bit, but it be yeah. still dead. Yeah, that's what's going on right now. That's what they seeing. Damn, they seeing the nerves of the fish flopping around while it's dead. But ain't no more water. It's a it's a wrap. Hmm. That's what, hey, that's what I was going to ask you, Rod, because I've been, me and my uh, wife talked about this today. Normally, we used to go to the store and say we bought popcorn or something. It was like 25 in a pack, and then it was like $5. Now, it's they, you go back and buy that same pack, it's like 10 in a pack, and then it's up. It's like $10. They doubled the price. It seems like everything that we used to buy is not only less quantity, but it costs more. And I say that's, the, they put that's inflation. That's fractional reserve banking at its finest. That's what it's designed to do. Go ahead. Give you less product for the decreasing value of the dollar. Damn, bro. This shit is getting crazy. You got to remember, man, when we used to go to uh, the mom and pop store in the basement in Chicago with a quarter, come out that bitch with a bag full of all kind of shit. You know what I'm yeah. We used to call it the penny store. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, like, back to so did you so you think that they they get ready to crash the dollar? So that's what I was saying. Why would they offer us some all this damn money and then they and everything is going up? Somebody else said that when they give us that money, they are gonna make the price of everything go up to where you gonna you gonna be living still check to check with a fucking twenty five hundred dollars a week. <laughs> you gonna still be living check to check. You know what I'm saying? That's, mm-hmm. that's the crazy part. Yeah, man. So, you, so how, you, long I, what, got, how long we got, bro? How long we got, man? We down how a week. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um, somewhere around there. Seems like because the D boys been out of business. I'm trying to see when they gonna roll the robots. Like they may roll them out on Halloween. They've been already <laughs> going to these different events with these. Uh, they say the human dressed like robots. But if somebody was to if a robot was to come out now on Halloween looking like that. People probably would think that it was a real human or some human dressed like a robot. A human is a robot. Go ahead. This is, this is just an earth rover suit. Mm-hmm. That's right. I, I'm with you. Right. The yeah. only ones that's not an earth rover is the NPCs. Go ahead. And most of them phasing out of existence. So, it's just. It's, it's, it's crystalline technology, mm-hmm. nanotech, mm-hmm. right? Organic nanotechnology. Mm-hmm. They use, uh, now in Silicon Valley, they use soy. What? But at the ancients, they use corn. Uh-huh. What they use soy for today, in ancient times, we use corn for. Go ahead. 
So the human carbon and the corn carbon is the same fucking carbon. Right? Because the microprocessors that we call the DNA helix is made out of the carbon of the corn. Go ahead. Right? So when you put all this stuff together, the, you ain't the body. You just using the body to navigate Earth. Yep, I'm with it. Right. When the body is neglected and breaks down and is no longer functional, you need a new suit. Right? I mean, you ain't gonna go to a wedding with a with a tuxedo that got holes in the knees and elbows because it's so old, are you? Nope. You're gonna replace the suit, right? Yeah. So when the suit earth suit break down, we replace it with another one. They call it jumping avatars. Go ahead. In uh, Atlantis, they had the healing chambers and they found them in Antarctica and reproduced them. Uh -huh. They gonna be unveiled at the World Fair. Yeah. They've been using them in Area 51 for about 30 years or more. Yeah, the military. Mm -hmm. You remember right. that John Claude Van Damme Universal Soldier? Yeah. That's yep. what they were doing. That's what they was using it for. To create Unisols. Mike Tyson <laughs> DNA and everything, right? Bruce Lee. Mm, they would take the soldiers that was high achievers in the battlefield, put them in a healing chamber and rejuvenate the body even after it had major damage. Damn. They grow back limbs and all that. Just like on Wanted. Mm-hmm. But Wanted, that was what they called an elixir bath. Okay. In ancient times. And that only have superficial healing properties cuts and scrapes and abrasions and bruises of the body yeah when you need to regenerate a limb then you need to go into what they call in chemist the sarcophagi yeah the sarcophagi. It's the healing it's a healing pot yeah. that will regenerate it'll read the dna and the dna will tell it what's missing that's right right and then it'll correct it yeah and only certain people call, that they called the guides back then was allowed to use it. Now it's going to be at all the doula centers. That's right. Murdoch and Tahuti created the, that device. Yeah. That's interesting that you know know uh, about that, that know a lot about that device. And uh, it, it can prolong your life. They we used to lay in it a lot, but it, it can prolong your life, but if you lay in it too much, it was a defect that Tahuti ended up working out. That it was a defect to that machine that caused them to be like cranky and like agitated real fast. It made them short tempered from using it so much. But then, no, I think yeah, because it causes okay. So, you know, sensory deprivation does to the man, right? Go ahead, go in on that. So Right. They put you in the sensory deprivation chamber. Most people will go totally insane in 30 days. Right. The the healing chamber gives a sensation, used to get a sensation of being in the sensory deprivation chamber. Mm -hmm. You know what the you know what the remedy was? What's the remedy? Your playlist, your favorite playlists. Amazing. Put your favorite playlist on and play it while you're in there and you don't go through the sensory deprivation effect. What? That's deep, Rod. That's deep. Damn, they cut Rod out. I think right they said this shit. Yeah, see, that's that. <laughs> see, you gonna say some uh some uh some big ass boys club. You them boys on big and ass boy, you said some of they shit that they got going on. In the background that they enjoy, they got the being ass boys club. So they got they recovered that machine from ancient Kimmy and and duplicated a similar to it. It's, it I'm gonna to give y'all an idea what it looked like. It looked like a tanning bed that you lay into and, and you can put the things over your eyes just like that's that. the med bed. That's yeah. the med bed. The med bed is different 
and it does different stuff. So and if you have like liver problems, kidney problems, you lay on a med bed, it'll heal that. Mm-hmm. And we, and we also have right. a device you rub over them like this. Like some, right, like that's that was the yeah, it, that was a wine. They got those now. Those are scanners to determine what your ailment is. Yeah. Yeah. Right. They show all of this technology I'm talking about is in the hieroglyphics in Egypt. That's right. It's oh, in the hieroglyphics. It's, a, it's in the hieroglyphics in Mexico. It's in the hieroglyphics in Arizona. Arizona right. is the most top secret ancient city in, in the world. <clears throat> Go it's ahead. right there in Arizona. And this is what they would call the cradle of the gods. Right? So all of the technology has always been here. That's but right. the ones who was fighting the war had to crash everything and everybody had to start off with amnesia. The problem that we had is some of them motherfuckers cheated. Go ahead, go in. And they never had amnesia. So they was whooping our ass. <laughs> go ahead. And yeah, they was ahead. telling other people, right, and they was telling other people how to whoop us. Man. That's how Yakub's handlers was able to keep the devil in power all that time. You dirty sucker, man. <laughs> stuff, man. I'm telling you, man. So, hey, Rod, okay, since you could uh, go in on that, because we're still talking about mental warfare, and uh, just say uh, to dumb it down to your everyday fight as far as uh, a mental attack, as far as somebody trying to, you know, you know uh, talk down on you or. You know, whatever case that the people might have where they got to fight and use their mind. How, um, it's something as simple as, you know, dealing with your boss on your job. You know what I'm saying? Uh, how do you protect your mind from being, a, how do you use your defense, to put your psychic defense to protect from something that's trying to intrude on your own to your brain and to your mind, you know? You just got to remember, once you engage in it, you in it. As soon as you engage in it, you in it. You all, you, you part of it, right? So you have to pick your battles wisely. You can't fight everybody and everything that come along or else you'll be so depleted that you won't be able to win the war. Okay, all right, so yeah, you know, hey Rod. Mm -hmm. yeah, about an hour. Hey, if y'all got some more questions for Rod, drop them in the chat, man, because we just going in, you know what I'm saying? Chopping heads off. <clears throat> uh, um the next question I got for you, because people somebody could say because Mitch and Rod will be back on asking this question. Um where where is the next like we're dealing with the Donald Trump. That was a Donald Trump thing. All right, so they said that. Okay, so Donald Trump. You said that Donald Trump is still president. Could you elaborate on that? That's one person asked it. Look, the whole Joe Biden um, presidency is a psyop. Okay. And the purpose is for the people that still sleep, that ain't ready to wake up. They still had to do the cleanup. They had to go in the tunnels. They had to get the babies out. They had to catch the traffickers, the, the ones who was financing and trading in human capital. Mm -hmm. Right? All that stuff had to be done while regular people is going about their day-to-day life thinking it's business as usual. Mm -hmm. All the heavy lifting done now. Mm-hmm. We about we about to uh we about to rally the troops in the hood and go clean that motherfucker up. Yeah. It's, a, it's a wrap. I'm and telling you. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. I was going to the, the next part. 
the biggest motherfucking power play on the land right now is that lawsuit. That Farrakhan file. Yeah. That's a power it. play. It don't got nothing to do. It don't got nothing to do with the fiat. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. Because he's direct. He's a direct affront to the enemy. Face to face, motherfucker. That's what it is. Remember, they didn't just start picking on Farrakhan a month ago. Right. Why he wait? from 83 when they first started calling him an anti-Semite on the Jesse Jackson campaign all the way to 2023 of being called an anti-Semite, a Jew hater and all this, wait all this time to file a lawsuit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He know who the enemy is. The ADL is the political branch of the Zionist Jews. They are what you call the public relations body. The paramilitary enforcement group is called the Jewish Defense League. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. They are both owned by some people called Morris Zionist Jews. Okay. Right. Mm -hmm. And they if you pull up my post from the day, you will see some receipts. Mm -hmm. The nigga that was running the uh jdl in california for until he died was just passing he's just passing as soon as you look at him you say that nigga passing right he was the director hmm. These is the ones they call star whackers in Hollywood was extorting all of the celebrities without exception. Go ahead. They the ones wanted Marilyn Monroe dead. They the ones wanted James Mansfield's head, literally. Right? And I could go down, it's a long list of them. Sam Cooke. Billy Holiday. Tupac. Tupac, Biggie, right? All them. Just go look at the receipts from the yesterday and the day on my page. You're gonna be fucked ODB. up. ODB, Prodigy, Prodigy. And the list goes long down the list. That's a long list. Well, look, I, I, all I, of the all I, of the major all of the major rappers, except for some reason, they left Ice Cube alone and they left Chuck D alone. And that's because it's only one group of motherfuckers on the land that knew who they was that they didn't want to face because they had infiltrated them before and now they trying to keep their distance from. And that's them bow tie wearing motherfuckers. Yeah. As soon as Cube hooked up with them, they didn't want no more parts of it. Damn. That's what made them put the hit on easy. Hmm. Go on. That Jerry Heller was trying to get Ruthless Records from Easy e and somebody was wise enough to tell Easy that if he left everything to his wife, that Jerry Heller can be cut out the contract by her if something happened to him because she got the right to restructure the company. Mm -hmm. Tamika Wright. Yeah, bone right. Bones, so. Know. Once they confirmed that they had put the hit out on Easy E, then he have to be removed from the public's eye in order to preserve him from getting killed. Because Farrakhan said, when you kill Martin, you kill the last one of us chiefs you're going to get. Right? So we had to put... Now, they got some more of us since then, but it was out of the hands of the ones capable of extracting them. <clears throat> Man, this shit is deep, bro. It's war. So you say Easy E got extracted as well? Yeah. He him and Pac was on the same fucking res in Arizona. Easy won't leave that motherfucker, but Pac be all up and down the West Coast. Like he ain't even hiding. Yeah, they had videos of him. Uh you know, but look, a, when Pac come to town, about 400 niggas roll in in front of him. He rolled up, and about 400 more rolled up behind him. 
and they don't want to smoke. The JDL niggas. Yeah, they don't want to smoke with Pac. They they that they say his 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 crew too deep. They gonna catch him too quick. So why won't why won't these JDL niggas expose Pac and say, yeah, Pac, we, we know you're still alive and, and put it all into the public's eye? Because that'll expose them. Yeah, might would. I've been trying to make them come out and say he ain't dead. Uh-huh. They got even got us telling the motherfuckers he ain't dead so that the they'll get brazen enough to say Tupac ain't dead. That's what the whole Keefe D thing is about. Wake up and smell the coffee. Yeah, go ahead. Right. Keefe is the coffee brand from the penitentiary. D means on the square. Wake me when I'm free. Remember? Yeah, go ahead, go ahead. And the best part of waking up is coffee in your cup. Yes, it's all fucking right. Fucking Masonic shit, man. Right. So when Malcolm's favorite drink was coffee, I get the knock on the chickens coming home to roost at the same time Keefe D get arrested. Yeah, it makes sense. But we man, all know Park ain't dead. <laughs> yeah. It's like when you put out, like I had did the Malcolm X tape, and then I went to your 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 uh, Instagram. I said, "Damn, Ma, uh, Raw talking about Malcolm X and the shit about Malcolm X." And some just on my spirit just to do that tape because I was going, I had already had it lined up with the Bumpy Johnson. What happened to Bump? Like what happened to Bumpy? You know what I'm saying? Bumpy was connected with Malcolm. Yeah, so I was like, "Damn, you know, he was Gullah Geechee, huh?" Bumpy Bump, Johnson, yeah. he was Gullah Geechee. Yeah. He knew what the war was and he knew that if he moved a certain way uh-huh. he'd be able to get money. Yeah. Yeah. Right? And so he did it. Yeah. He hit Frank Lucas was a Gullah Geechee too. Yeah, he came down from, from down south. They all they came from down south. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. From the Carolinas. Yeah. You remember, I don't know if you ever heard of the Chambers boys from Detroit. Yeah. They was, yeah. they from the Carolinas. Them them all Gullah Geechies. They made they made actually made that movie New Jack City after them boys, I think they said. At the Chambers from Detroit, right? They had one of them cities and one of them buildings in every major city in America. Yeah. Those were how the CIA <clears throat> was setting up in our hoods. Go ahead, go ahead, Rod. So they use the DEA, right? Come in with a sweet gravy deal to make money for rank members in the tribes. Well, we, they call us gangs. Yeah. And then they give them the the formula to set the building up so the police know who's running it. Go ahead. It's the difference between those who's running a spot, standing on the corner, and then those who's running a building. A whole goddamn building, like Nina. A whole Park. building like that, yeah. They had one, I think it, they might have tore it down now, it might still be there, but it was one on 48 called Rosenwall. And for a while, it was ran just like New Jack City. You go turn the car over to the cash money brothers, ain't you? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> they had a building in New York like that too. Yeah. You yeah. know, so the the um where else where else I see one at? I saw one in Dallas. My brothers just take me one to Dallas. They really? called it the Carter. They called it the Carter down there. It was a big old apartment complex. They had everything. Yeah. Tell everything. So they was putting these drugs in our community mm-hmm. to keep us from ever realizing that we was under military assault Mm -hmm. using artifices of war that was beyond our comprehension because we knew nothing about warfare. So you're saying these drug operations set up like the card on, you know, Brown was all... Them was all CIA operations, yeah. That's how they was able to lure the gang leaders into um, illegal activity by operating in such mass on a territory and they from keep them locked up they can't come out and put a stop to it they have to just manage it 
They can't they can't stop it if they ain't out there. The best they can do is manage it and try to get as much for their people as they can out of the process. That's what they said. It's called a control <clears throat> situation. Yeah. Yeah, Cointel Pro. They yeah, all, yeah. all that. Look, they knew about the Three Kings country because they th called three specific names in the Cointel Pro document. Turkey? Mm -hmm. Who? They named Malcolm X, they named Martin Luther King, and they named Elijah Muhammad. Damn. I see Malcolm. I see Martin. And I can see why they said Elijah. But they didn't mess with Elijah, though. They tried to kill Elijah. He was in Cook County Hospital with a, uh, he was having a bronchitis attack. It's in the book Sterling yeah, Hobbs, remember, Black Angels. I remember that. He was, yeah. he was coughing real bad. And, and they said that yeah. he get the messages down. Like he's like, uh, you know, sick or whatever. I think, the, I think the fruit might have staged that to extract him. That's, that's, that's interesting, too. Because Bible said that the, was, the only reason why I say that is because Farrakhan said that the messenger ain't gone nowhere. Yeah, I can see the eight larger got taken up. The larger do get taken up. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. take up. Uh, uh, yeah, so right now, with, with the Nation of Islam, with Farrakhan filing this deal, because that's a big thing, like you said, uh, what if, if Farrakhan win, what are we to expect? It's, it's, it, ain't got nothing to do, it, don't, it ain't got nothing to do with winning the case. The government won't be long enough, won't be here long enough to litigate that case. Yeah. Farrakhan is aware of this. It's just like a kick in the nuts for they go, as they go down or something like that. A kick in the it's nuts. It's a message to us. You got to remember, Malachi filed a, uh, uh, a lawsuit against the government That's for right. $2 billion back in 2021. That's right. Because they'd never had jurisdiction over the outlaw tribe. They only had jurisdiction over the treaty tribes. That's right. Right? So this is a knockback to Malachi. This is the Red House move off the same move Malachi or the Blue House made in the beginning. Yeah. What they say, as it was in the beginning, so shall it be in the end. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So this is, this is the full turn on the Revolutionary 76. Hey, so, hey, Rod, going back on, because we're still dealing with mental martial arts, why didn't the Black Panthers succeed? How were they able to not... Because the Dirty Moors infiltrated them. Okay, go ahead. You got to remember, they do some of us against them. Uh -huh. that, was a, that was what we call a dupe. Uh -huh. You don't know what you're doing. You're just doing some shit. Uh-huh. And then they were sending agents in that was JDL um, as informants. Uh -huh. And they were so infiltrated, they was not going to succeed with that level of infiltration. It uh -huh. fell apart up because of the infiltration was discovered. All of the ones who knew who the infiltrators was fell back, reassessed, formed under the Black Liberation Army, Right. And when they formed reformed under the Black Liberation Army, they all kept their own individual group identities, depending on where they was at on the land. Mm -hmm. Right. It's all military. It's hard to read for a civilian, but for a strategist, it's basic common sense for strategy. Hey, so let me ask you this, then. Did you, did you say the word strategy? The Nation of Islam, a larger Muhammad strategy was no guns. And they still around. So you think that no guns is a good strategy? The reason why he did that, because he knew the temperament of the men he would be training his fruits. Okay. And he know if we go to war with him again, these some bitches get another extension. Mm. So to keep them from falling into the trap, because they going to bait you as they show Malcolm in Harlem. Right, right, but Malcolm came with a show of force, and none of them had guns, and the police ain't want no smoke. 
Yeah, yeah, I noticed it. So that, that's because he was standing in the position to write and he was telling the truth. And we got the right to defend ourselves and they know it. Man, that's powerful, as you said, though. Me personally, I'm going to be scrapped, but Malcolm, and it shows in the Bumpy Johnson movie that one of the guards gave him a gun, but he didn't pull it when they shot him. You know, so I think Malcolm wanted either he he just gave up or, you know, I don't know. I don't know if he, I don't know if he even went like they telling us. Maybe well, I know he was running the red hearing to draw the traitors out. Yeah. I know he was doing that. As to, uh, I know he pulled the security off the door at the Audubon ballroom. And told him, don't search him. Don't search him. Yeah. So he know the shooter's coming. He already know they coming before they got there. How, yeah. how the fuck he know? Malcolm knew when he got that car that my motherfuckers was coming, man. I'm telling you. When he got the car, he looked around. You could just see it on his face in the picture that he knew the day was he coming. He knew sooner or later they're going to come for him. Yeah, because Dick Gregory told him. A whole bunch of people told him. Adam Clay Powell told him, man, walk light, man. They they got your name. Adam, Powell, Adam Clay Powell. Yeah, yeah, so it wasn't no secret, but he had already did what he set out to do when he told Elijah in the public who the traitors was. Yeah, that's right. Go, hey, go to the go What part is this? Look, go listen to Malcolm X press conferences from before he died. Okay. He's going to give a list of names and he's going to say exactly this. He's going to say, I'm not saying anything the police don't know. The police, the ones told me. Yeah. And he's going to go on naming these names and then he gonna say uh the nation of islam has been thoroughly infiltrated by both the new york police department and the fbi damn, damn. so who he naming agents damn. all he naming is agents how elijah gonna know if malcolm can't call him no more he gotta tell him in a public face he got to act like, yep, he got to say their names without never telling you. He's just talking generally. But Elijah know what he's talking about. And he know the little circle that each one of them names run with. So he know when Farrakhan get ready to rebuild it, he knew who to leave out. <clears throat> yeah, that makes sense, bro, what you're saying, because they was the CIA and the, the clowns, killer clowns, was intercepting his letters. Go back to the nation doctrine. Elijah told everybody that the nation was going to fall and rise again. Uh huh. And he told them it was going to be raised by Minister Farrakhan. Mm -hmm. This was in the 60s. Mm -hmm. Right? Wallace don't decentralize to 74, the same year we drew up the peace treaty in Pontiac, Illinois. Hmm. Right? By 75, it was decentralized. Farrakhan don't start rebuilding until like 78 or 79. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right? And the only other people to do anything similar was Silas Muhammad in Atlanta. And the one guy who called himself Father God, uh, whatever the hell his name is now. But the whole thing is to raise the man up until the man know what to do for himself. Right, right. Right, once you know what to do, ain't nobody got to tell you no more. Right. If you, if you have a fair kind of say, if you understand the times and you can read the signs, you already know the agenda. This right. is why Yahweh being Yahweh knew to start the um his group of Hebrew Israelites. Yeah, Yahweh Nation. Because they got us so de delusional, we believe that Bible really got something to do with us. It don't got nothing to do with us. So I was trying to tell them the Melchizedek was around before the Bible, but they was trying to tell you I was talking religion. The Bible wasn't even around when this these guys were when we were who we were. No. Look, all that stuff came out of Egypt and Sumer 
and it was all rewritten and reorganized by Marduk and Lil Son Marduk and Ninersen. Mm -hmm. They was the two prime sons of Enlil that he used to fight the war. His son Marduk was the referee. Go ahead. He appointed the referee because he called himself yeah. back in the day. And then Ertu called himself Murdoch. And so uh, Inky's son Murdoch secured Nibiru. Yeah. Came back in on July the 26th, 1945. Yeah, that's right. He, he had to come back because we got to finish this shit down here. Yeah, it's, it, it, I tell you, Raw, it's, it's a battle. Nonstop. Yeah. All night long. All day long. <laughs> you got to be sitting on your P's and Q's watching these jokers. And you gotta keep. Then you gotta back study every day. You gotta back study every day uh, on on. Well, signs are always coming in. Yeah. Right. The Wind Talker Channel is just that. The Wind Talker Channel. Yeah. It's always some shit blowing through that motherfucker. That's right. That's right. Right. And when you watching it, the question is, do you know how to translate it? That's right. That's right. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, man. Hey, so yeah, just like like we don't do paperwork. Uh, like if you ask about paperwork, the public, like paperwork with them, you know what I'm saying? It's all it's all game to lock you back into their system, and that's what that's what people was asking, bro. It's a paper chain. It's called the paper chain. Yeah, it's called that for a reason. Right, because they can't make you do nothing. Mm -hmm. But when you put it on paper, it's called a contract. Con means against something. Right. A tract is a portion of land. Good. Right, so what Baba say? And Abraham was talking to Lot about a lot of land. That's right. Lot was the land that Abraham was telling him about. From the earth you came into the earth you shall return. Yeah. Right? So yeah. they tricking you, the earth born, in the saying that you not part of earth. So you leveraging you they leveraging the contract against your ignorance as a part of the earth because now you are imbecile in law. That's right. That's right. So the chains of hell is paper chains held in place by psychological manipulation and misinformation. They tell you the stories. They got to put it out in the public domain. You just got to be wise enough to see it. That's right. That's right. They can tell it to you in reverse, mirrored, upside down, or backwards. You just got to find out the way that it's supposed to go in order to get the story straight. Right. What Bible say? Before these people come, um, persecution of the righteous. Before these people come, I got the short amount of time to straighten these stories out in y'all man. That's right. Because once I straighten these stories out, ain't nothing they can tell you to enslave you again. What is he talking about, Elder? These are all light codes. <clears throat> they all light codes. Yeah, like at the point now, all this shit is being just un like the, the last little part of it, what we need to know, is just coming out. And that's what I was going to ask you before because we, we only got like a little bit more time. We had an hour and 30. Uh, hit that like, hit that subscribe button, y'all. Um, at this point, People was talking about because they, they say that we doomsday preachers and this and that, right? But the, what we telling them is not our world as Nubians is going to end as natives. It's their system that's going down. It's Babylon, the great, the system, not us. And it, like, like, uh, so they they wanted to ask about that. They wanted to ask, so are you doomsday preaching us, telling us the world going to end, or are you saying, you know? 
a particular type of way of life or system is going Look, down. We operating in a under in a prison planet under a slave system. Go ahead. It's up to us if we want a free system or continue this foolishness. I'm not, I don't see the gloom and the doom. Yeah. I do see Babylon gone. I do see the golden age emerging in the age of Aquarius. And all of this bullshit didn't been exposed. That's right. Right? Everything Bob and, and Elijah didn't answer and Farrakhan didn't answer, I answered it. It's covered. We covered it. It's covered. covered. It's all yeah. covered. Any other chiefs that were supposed to close a contract out, they didn't catch on when I was showing them. I was allowed at that point to close it for them. That's all done. Man, it's clear as day now. Like, Baba told me to stop taunting them now. Don't taunt them no more. Since we know like the killer clowns and uh, you know the killer clowns working for the black hand. And I, I even got a couple of names off on that black hand. I got a couple of names, like the Waynes, the Wayne brothers. Mm -mm. Real dirty Zionist Jew Moors suckers. Wayne brothers is from over here. They are nah, they neighbors. No, nah, I'm talking about now nah, I ain't talking about the Wayne brothers, uh like the actors. Uh, you talking about like uh, the white Damon Wayne? Oh, I thought you were talking about Keenan and Damon and uh, all of them. Uh, they might be kin to these people, but they I ain't talking about them. They they from over here. I'm talking about the one the ones who came from Air Madrid. These goddamn dirty Moors, Zionist Jews who had the name Wayne, who inherited the name Wayne, and they the ones that own. You can't go by the names. Just the only way you can go by the name. Yeah. Is if the last name is Jacob, Jacobin, Jacobin, Iokobin, them the only way you can go by the name. But normally they change the name to the contemporary names of the culture they invade. When right. they first came right. over right. here, when they first came over here, they was calling themselves chief. But when we realized they wasn't chiefs, can't nobody call themselves nothing now. Damn, that's cold. Because you're not finna come over here and trick us with that shit. But they tricked us anyway. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Hey, we well, are um it is a school night. These boys, we got about an hour and thirty minutes in this game, man. We're gonna about to come back with another one. Uh, so oh yeah, you know, just hit me up. We'll, if I come up with some, uh, some uh, nice. for the subject, why well, I could send you some receipts and we yeah. do a uh, do yeah. it through another class. Yeah, we can do that anytime this week. Cause uh, like I say, all this week I'm just gonna be working on classes, and uh, yeah, so we can do that this week. Hey y'all, we want to thank y'all for tuning in with Chief Raw Hayes, right? And like I say, be sure to go to uh, people's asking, uh, how do I get a part of Raw Hayes Lives? You know what I'm saying? Like on the Instagram. So you got to go to his, his, uh, his, uh, follow him on Instagram. We got that Instagram, and the link is D Skype 8 T H E S I K A P E on Instagram. You go there, and it, like every now and then he, he be doing lives like at least once or twice a week. And you go on now, you can tune in and you can get into the live and ask some questions on there. Because people was asking me that, man, how do I get in on the broad lives or whatever? So you got to go to his Instagram. Like I say, uh, at uh, D Skype 8, we're going to have it in the links. And it's the same as his cash app. If you want to show him some love on the cash app, right? Everybody send him a dollar. We got uh, 800. Uh, it's, it's way more than that no, on my phone. It's uh like a thousand or something. Hey, uh, so yeah, y'all. Hey, so yeah, we, so it's just it's the same as his cash out. It's the same as his Instagram. It, but you gotta add the Skype eight instead of just Skype eight. Uh, for the Instagram, right? It's at the Skype eight. So that's why if you wanna get on the live that he be doing when he be doing those lives, and he be going like three, four hours on there with people just taking in calls. We was uh, we we did talk about taking calls tonight. I gotta find out how to do that. 
I gotta find out how to do that, y'all. So uh we're gonna get up out of here, man. Peace and love and harmony and blessings throughout the balance universe to all. All right, Rod. We out, man. All right. What do? All right, what do? Never, never have it been made.